All right, type nines, it is your turn. Let's talk about summer with our kids as an Enneagram type nine. So let me refresh first, what is a type nine? A type nine is a peacemaker. The type nine is the parent who wants harmony, wants especially re relational harmony, but also they want peace internally. So anything that is going to cause conflict should be avoided. Anything that's going to cause a lack of peace, let's just put it off. And, and nines can um, bring people together because they see things from everyone's perspective. Well, I can understand that and I can understand that too. And they're such harmonizers. And at the same time, nines can be avoiders. Nines are withdrawing numbers. They can tend to want to avoid rocking the boat or avoid a, a really uncomfortable scenario or situation. And so for a nine, some triggers in the summer with all the kids is bickering. Kids fight all the time. And if you're a nine, that is just like nails on a chalkboard, just cannot feel at peace, cannot feel okay if two of your kids are fighting or if one of your kids is upset at you or if your spouse is in a bad mood, you read the energy of the room and it's just very triggering to have discord in the home when you are a nine. And nines actually have the least amount of energy of any number on the Enneagram because they're trying to maintain peace without and maintain peace within. And that takes so much energy, they barely have energy to do anything else because it's so consuming for them constantly seeing Okay, is there gonna be a conflict here? Should I bend over backwards here? Should I make this different meal for that kid so they don't whine? Should I? They're, they're just, they're, they're shape shifters, moving themselves out of the way so everyone else is fine. Creating buffers so that nobody has a chance to be upset. And all of this peacemaking can be utterly exhausting when you have kids in their home with you all day. It, it's just beyond taxing and nines are your automatic responses because you're in the anger triad will be anger but because anger stirs up conflict a nine's instinct is to feel the anger and then squash it down and repress it down and not let it out and everything's fine and and I'm just gonna you know okay I'll make you a different sandwich and and, and squash it down but at some point it's gonna come out at some point you're not gonna be able to hold it in and it's gonna outburst and then you'll feel terrible for outbursting at your kids or people that you love and it's just that it had to come out at some point you couldn't hold it in forever and so knowing this is the gift of the Enneagram knowing that conflict and expending a lot of energy maintaining harmony in your home and with your kids this summer takes so much energy you're gonna be exhausted and you're also going to experience an anger that you're trying to repress which is also exhausting and so as a nine um, try to there are two things I recommend for you first of all try to rest you don't you you do need some rest you do need more rest than other numbers and that's okay it's neither good nor bad other numbers have their own things to deal with that they got to struggle through for you it's energy so create pockets of rest for yourself do not overcommit. do not overbook that's only going to take your patience and stretch it out even thinner than it is which causes more of those outbursts of anger because you don't have enough energy to hold it in anymore because you overbooked yourself and you did too many things understand your limits be okay with those limits your kids don't care how much you did but they do care how you showed up in that day so if you want to show up as your best self give yourself rest the second thing that I recommend for you is to let the anger out <laughs> have the fight feel the feel and because nines are in the body triad it's gonna be most freeing and releasing to do it in a physical way. I don't mean beat your kids up. I'm not saying be physically violent in any way, shape, or form. Some things that could help would be to exercise, to run, to lift weights, to box. Actually, boxing would probably be pretty good for a nine. You're not hurting anybody, but you can kind of like throw a few punches, maybe think about some things that you wanted to fight about, but you didn't want to rock the boat. Um, so get yourself some physical form of letting steam off. 
Another thing that would be great for a nine is to write down and process at the end of the night just how your day went. And actually with this training program, there's a free printable that I want every number to use, but especially helpful for nines, where it's gonna ask you some questions. Print out at least seven pages of it, so you have one for each night for a full week, and just write out, how did my day go? It's part of letting off the steam. It's part of recognizing where you felt hurt, recognizing where you might have felt taken advantage of because you're always catering to everyone else and nobody's catering to you and, and that can hurt. Um, and nobody's doing it on purpose and some of it maybe even self-inflicted because you never want to stand up for yourself. So of course you're not going to be um, maybe like cared about or <laughs> looked at or valued, but you are valuable. You should be cared for. You should be cared about. And others will care about your needs when you start caring about your needs. I know that's a hard thing to hear, but as a nine, you can put everyone else's needs above your own. You matter. You matter. And there comes a point where you kind of have to assert yourself and say, these are my limits. These are my boundaries. I need time to work out. I need time to sit and rest for a little bit. I need time for this, that, and the other. And what that does, that's actually your growth activity. Growth activities are things that feel utterly unnatural to your type. Now, if you were to ask me as a three that I'm an aggressive number, that I need to you know, set boundaries and take for myself what I need, I'd be like, yeah, I'm on it, of course. It doesn't feel unnatural to me at all, but for a nine, that is a growth activity because it feels so wrong. <laughs> it feels like I couldn't possibly take a nap when someone else needs help or needs me to do this for them or, you know, I couldn't possibly stand up for myself and say, no, I'm sorry, I, I need to do this because what if that person gets upset or it causes friction, let me just do it. No, take time for yourself. Decide that you matter. Once you start valuing what you need, others will too. Others do too. They respond to you how you assert yourself, how you carry yourself. So those evening reflections are gonna be incredibly important for you as a nine to look back over your day, to process and to let out some of that steam. And maybe even just to your spouse or to a friend, you call them up and you say, you know what? This really pissed me off. Such and such happened and da 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 da. And you're not saying it to the person because maybe you're not ready to have that fight, but you're letting it out. You're letting it go. You're saying, I was mad about this. Get mad, get mad, let it out. If you don't, <laughs> think you know what happens. It just lashes out in ways that maybe isn't the best, maybe isn't the most healthy that it could be. And again, that's why we love the Enneagram. It helps us to know how we see, what triggers us, what our automatic responses are. And if we can press into some growth activities, we can start to balance out and decide who we wanna show up as instead of just automatically showing up without thinking, without realizing, without understanding. So what is your superpower as a nine? Well, you are that great harmonizer. You are that great peacemaker. You are the one who knows what everybody else wants, what everybody else needs, and it's just a joy for you to do it for them. It's a joy for you to make a special meal for this child and a special meal for that child. It's a joy for you many times to go and do this activity because it's what someone else wanted to do and you don't really care and you're fine. As long as they're happy, you're happy. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing that creates so much love. The core uh, virtue, the original virtue of a nine is love. Nines are the embodiment of love. You literally through your action because you are in the body triad, so nines act first. Your instinct and action is to show love, show love, show love. You may not always verbalize it. You may not always be, you know, great with writing love notes, but you do love. You do the things that puts the other before yourself. Press into that. That's amazing. As long as you can balance it out with knowing that you matter, setting some boundaries, and 
prioritizing yourself this summer. You, you will not enjoy this summer. You will not make it this summer. <laughs> That's being dramatic. But if you don't make some space for you, it's just not gonna happen. We're limited human beings with limited energy and you won't make it if you don't make some space for you. So it feels uncomfortable, but I'm gonna challenge you, make some space for you, let off some steam, and then still press into your strengths of loving others, putting others before yourself, creating that harmony. It's gonna be a great summer.